you'll amaze your friends with these easy magic tricks. Hope you have fun with them. Here's how to perform the floating card. Now I'm using string here for demonstration purposes. You can use black thread. If you're gonna use black thread, you're gonna to have to stand back a little bit from your crowd and it helps to wear black clothing or very dark clothing. Now you could perform this a little closer up if you can find hair that is long enough to accomplish this. This can be done with hair. And uh, now for the performance that you see on the video, I used a some a professional means so I'm just gonna say you need to talk to a magic dealer they'll have a solution for you but I can't go into that in detail uh, on a public um, type of video like this but just talk to a magic dealer so with the string you can see I have two pieces of string here that are connected and there's two of them one on each side of the card they just use I just use regular tape and the other part is taped to a button here so all you're doing is running your fingers through and then you can have it on a deck of cards or you can have it um, from your hand but all you're doing is moving your hand forward which causes the card to rise up so I'm see I'm just moving my hand forward and it causes the card to rise up so again if you uh, have dark clothing you'll be able to get away using black thread and give yourself a little distance but that is a levitating or floating card. People think that Harry Houdini was the greatest magician of all time, but it turns out he was actually an escape artist and we're going to do a little escape artist thing here with some playing cards. You can see there's a hole running through the cards right there, right there, a hole through the cards. Now let's see if we can do some magic here. I'm going to bind them up just as an escape artist might be bound with chains or a straitjacket. Now we're going to use, let's go with the queen here. The queen's going to act as our escape artist. And if the magic has happened right about here, the escape artist should be making a move. I don't know if you can see it there, but the escape artist is making 
a move. Let's see how it looks right there. And as you can see, there's a hole that's still intact. And that is our escape artist. Here's how you perform the trick. You're gonna have to create a gimmicked card here. So what I've done is I've taken two queen of clubs. First of all, I just have four cards here. I use the hole punch to punch a hole. I just happen to have this key ring along, so this is what I used. And I've created this gimmicked card here. So we have the queen, two queens that are glued together. The queen here, this is one card here that's folded in half and has a hole in the top. And we have the second card here. It's glued on this part together, so that's two thicknesses on this side. It's glued here to there. And this is an intact card, but I've cut a portion away. So when closed like this, it looks just like an ordinary card. But when pulled back, it's completely open. So in the beginning, this card goes in here. Now here's what I did. I started out with the key ring, apparently through all cards, and I wanted to show it openly that this key ring is going through the cards, but of course it's not going through the queen. The queen's already free. Now I showed the cards, I showed the top card with the hole. I took these three cards. I don't want to show this one because they're going to see the secret. So for this display, I took the top card, I took the next three cards, and then I showed these cards to have holes in them. I gathered them up. Now I take my key ring, place it through the hole, show both sides so people can see. And then by taking the center card, which of course is our gimmick card, it's already free, I think it makes it look harder that it's in between these other cards. Now, just slowly draw out the card. Now what I did here was I tried to keep this card under cover of these two here. And so I'm kind of waiting, so I kind of pulled these away. And what I'm kind of waiting for is for this to clear. So at this point I can just flip this down. So what I did was I just kind of flipped it down right here as I was getting ready to pull it out and then I turned it over immediately. You could turn it, hold it this way, but they might see it. It's one of the reasons why I chose a face card, because it does obscure this line here. But I wouldn't show this one too openly. I like just showing the back here and showing the hole is intact. And you can kind of keep your fingers over the here, because there is a crease right here. Keep it in motion, people won't notice. Show the hole, and you have a fun trick, a card trick with an escape artist theme.